So white wormers. Remember last week I talked about these as a family? That's the easiest way to get your head around these. Treat them as a family, okay? So white wormers are benzomidazoles. That's our surname. But in our family, what siblings have we got? We've got albendazole. So that's the likes of albex. We've got fenbendazole, aka zero fen. We've got oxfendazole, aka bovex. In Ireland, they're the big three that we use. In the UK, um, Rikobendazole, another member of the family, also very popular. And then there's also Mebendazole, okay? So depending on where you are, um, a certain merchant might have them all and might only have one or two white worms. They won't have the full family generally, okay? So again, as I said last week, wormers were killing in cattle, uh, lung worms, gut worms, stomach worms, and sheep. It's just really the gut and stomach worms, the gastrointestinal worms, okay? Um, white wormers are quite unique. Uh, they also have good efficacy against rumen and tapeworm, so monesia, and then albendazole is out on its own. It's the only wormer that also has efficacy against uh, liver fluke, so that's just the adult stage. And you might be thinking, what's he on about? Loads of products work against worms and fluke. They're all combinations. So they've got a flucocyte and a wormer mixed into the same bottle or the same pack. In terms of white wormers, very high safety margin, very safe products to use. Um, withdrawal is generally quite short, um, but withdrawal is nonetheless particularly important in the dairy herds. You can't use them during lactation unless you take cows off milk, but it would be quite common to use these uh, at drying off. Always oral drenches, so white wormers are always oral drenches, and they'll have persistent activity. So we dose the animal, straight away the animal leaves the shoot out into the field grazing again, they're picking up worms. Don't get too caught up on that, that's not a big issue. So persistency is not always a good thing, particularly in younger animals when trying to stimulate immunity. Yes, it's very, very convenient and it sounds great, but um, it can lead to problems later in later life if we use too many really persistent products early on. 